So you saw how easy it is to add a blog post to your site and we want to do the same with the booking app. So you can either go to the app market or you can go to my business here. And here Wix also pitches their apps and you can find the booking app here. And under this tab, my business, you can also see the Wix blog app. They have the entire features you can do with a blog. So create a post, manage your posts, customize the post page and add blog elements and so on. So you can always go here and edit the settings of your apps. For example, here also the Wix chat app. We can go to the settings, open the inbox, schedule our chat hours and so on and so on. But now we want to find the booking app. So Wix bookings and we just want to add this to our site as well. It also takes a few seconds to install and this app is perfect for beauty salons, massage salons, coaches, fitness coaches and every business who has some appointments and is selling their appointments either in their location or even online. So you can also sell the appointments online. Let's see, now it disappeared under more. So we have to make the menu a little bit bigger. So we have book online here in the menu tab. And now we can get rid of the service page because this was just a dummy page we had before to show you how you can describe your service. But I will just hide this and go on the booking tab here and move it up. And you can also just rename it and say services. So these are the services we offer. So click just on done. And now we have the service tab right here at the beginning. I can move it a little bit away from the logo. And now people can book the services from our menu. And again, with services, we have the site menu and the services are here. And we also have the booking pages. Then we have this service page where every service is described and you can book and you can also see the schedule. Then when people book it, you have the booking calendar page. So this is where people can select the appointment. And then you have the booking form where people can yeah, just enter their details and pay for the session. And of course, like in any online shop, you have a card page. So when people select the service, then you can see the card here and you have a thank you page. When people are done booking your service, then they will land on this page and you can also add your appointment then to your Google Calendar. So you see Wix really thought this through and <laughs> made this really nice for us because now we can just go ahead and add our first service. But what I see, which doesn't look good right now, it also added like the cart icon here and this will disappear. So therefore we need to go on settings and just change the color of the cart item. So we can change the icon color. This one can be in this color. So, and now we can move it here. So this is the card and we have also the login area where people can log in and manage their service. So we just need to change the fill color here so it has a better contrast than green on green. If it looks weird on your page as well, just change these two icon colors and then you are good to go. And now we want to add our first service because these are just dummy services and we can go ahead and just click on manage service. And the nice part is Wix already has some dummy services here. So you have some SEO audit or social media consultation, legal consultation, business blogging basics. So this would be a class because via bookings, you can also sell classes like group sessions, for example, yoga sessions. If you're a yoga teacher then people can book in their calendar an appointment with you and you can do group coachings online or individual coachings at your location. So this is all possible with the booking app, which you can also find here in the dashboard, the booking calendar here. So you see here booking calendar and the booking listings. So these are the bookings we have. I will, for this example, since our website is about how to create a website, I want to do the SEO audit so people can book the service from me and have their own SEO audit with me. So I will just take this template and now this will pretty much work the same as for any service. So you have your name, you have your tagline and you have a description and also AI is helping you again and you have your image and you can just change the image, just therefore delete it and then go on Unsplash and I will type in SEO 
and I will just take this picture here. So this is pretty cool. Now I have an SEO picture and I would use this for lead generation. So people land on our site and they can book a short session of SEO consultancy. So for example, 15 minutes there you have a buffer time. So when you sell something, of course you want to be there for your clients. So maybe a buffer time for 10 minutes. So people can't book 10 minutes earlier to one session and after one session. So you have a proper time to prepare the next call. And now you can have a session or service paid by the customer online or even at the location. We haven't connected our payment methods yet. We will do this in the online store section after this when we install the store app on our website. So therefore I make it free because I also want to have this as a lead magnet. So people should come to my site and book the session and afterwards they should pay pay for like a consultancy. So yeah, I will just select free, but you can have a fixed price or you can set custom prices. But for now, I will just take a free price. And here you can set the location. So I can just edit this. So either you have a business location or you can meet at the client's place or you can set the custom location. I will just say like a Zoom meeting and I will send them the Zoom link via email once they book the service. So just click save. And now the cool part is if you are a team of people, then you can assign certain people to this training. So for example, in my agency, if I have an SEO specialist, I can just create a new staff member, the SEO guy, and then he will always take this kind of service because when people book the SEO service on our site, it will automatically show his calendar and people People can book his time and he can manage his time individually. So when he's off for a day or two, then he can just go inside Wix and edit this and people can't book him then. So this is pretty cool that you have the staff member management tool inside Wix already. So you don't need any external tool. Yeah, here you have some more resources and you can add a cover image for the page. So just go ahead and do this and you have some booking preferences. So booking policy, you can edit this, you have online bookings so give clients the ability to book your book on your site and booking form is the default but you can also edit the form if you need some special information for example i don't know some doctor's notes or some for example we would need a website link to go over the page maybe before the meeting so we already know what we're dealing with therefore you can just change the booking form here and ask for the information you want for example i want to find short answer your domain name and then make it required so people give us their domain name just save it and now we edit the booking form and yeah the service is visible of course if you don't want to do it because it's christmas or something <laughs> or holidays for the entire company then you can just disable this and it will disappear and every service also has some seo settings so people can find it on google but for now i'm happy with this and i can click save and now we successfully created our first service and you can of course go in and add more. But now I wanna do one more thing because we need to have our work schedule set up. As you saw, it was me, the staff member number one. <laughs> I can change the name here, but I want to edit my working hours. So this is very important because Wix will just take my working hours, which is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and make me available for the visitors, but I don't want to be available all day so i can go in just type in my name julian weber description maybe i'm a certified ashtanga yoga instructor my email and my phone number and you have some permission preferences here but most importantly we have our schedule of the week here for example i don't want to take seo consultations on monday and tuesday so i'll just delete monday and Wednesday, I will take the SEO consultations from, let's say, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Click Save. And for Thursday and Friday, I'm fine. So you get the idea how you can edit this to your individual schedule. And then I can click Save. And now it will automatically, since the SEO training is my training, it's automatically custom to my working schedule. And then I can go ahead, click Publish. And now we see our SEO booking appointments here. And when someone is on our site, let's go to our site. They can click on Services. 
then they will find the SEO audit. Then they can click on book now. Then they will land on my calendar or on a calendar. And here you can see Monday and Tuesday, they can't book me. But Wednesday, they can book me from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And on Thursday and Friday, I didn't change that. So they can book me from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, then they can just go ahead and select a session. Let's say 11 a.m. on Thursday, click next. And now they can just type in their name, their email address, their phone number, add a message. And as we put in the form field of your own domain, so this is also required here. So they need to type in their web address and then they can book the service for free. And I will then send them a confirmation email that this session is confirmed. So as you can see, this is pretty cool. And we can do one more thing because we want to advertise this service. So, I mean, having it in the menu is already one good place, but we want to also show this on our homepage. So we can just add an extra section here. So we go back to the editor and let's go to the start page, to the homepage, and then we can scroll down and maybe meet our team, maybe under meet our team before the contact section, we can add a section and design sections. And now we have the booking section here. And this is pretty cool. If you have more than one offer, for example, a lady's haircut and a men's haircut and a kid's haircut, then you can take these three or also in a like a column, which is pretty nice, but we just have one service. So I will just choose this one, a featured service. And now people can book the SEO service directly from our site. I actually don't like that it's stretched over the entire site. So I can go here and deselect this. And now it's just between these two lines, which is good. And of course, I would add a headline, something saying, get a free SEO audit from us. And maybe also a paragraph explaining this, but I think it's pretty clear what will happen. I'll just make this a little bit bigger, put it there, make it a little bit smaller so it will fit, let's say 60 pixels. And now let's put this there, move this down. So yeah, I do like this. And so visitors on our site can directly book our SEO audit publish it and let's see how it looks. Now we can see, yeah, get a free SEO audit from us and then people can directly from the homepage jump into the calendar and book their own session. So this is pretty cool. And we can of course do the same with paid services. So we could say, okay, get a 60 minute SEO audit for like a hundred bucks and then just accept payments here on the site and they will put in their credit card or PayPal and then they can book the service here on our website. So this was the blog app and the service app, the booking app. 